Welcome to yet another dazzling episode of Z Connect, wherein I, Priya, take you on the most entertaining journey of your weekend, tete a tete with celebrities, culinary discoveries, and much more. Our next installment with B Town guest today is with. Take a look yourselves. You have spent nearly two decades in the industry. Can you put together your journey in a few lines for us? Well, you know, it's been an eventful journey to say the least. ये जो loves आजकल बहुत use हो रहा है outsider. Me and my brother both are outsiders. And how we have never played the outsider card at all. We've got enough opportunities. Uh, whatever we got, uh, we tried to make the most of it. We failed sometimes. We succeeded sometimes. But it is not because we were outsiders that we failed. uh it is because we were made maybe not good enough at that time uh experience also teaches you that um, your success and your failures are defined only by yourself there can be factors which um, can motivate you which can also thwart you but in the end uh all this is uh, purely circumstantial you have also directed a film tell me how was it directing two legends of the industry shabana ji and nasir ji so uh you know so to to set the record right i wasn't told to direct uh, nasir and shabana i chose nasir and shabana uh jab rice plate ki story uh, in fact wo just I, I idea thi jo sanjay gupta sahab ne mujhe sunayi thi and i really worked on the script with my co-writers and we actually came up with a 15 minute script and uh, when he asked me who do you want in these roles my first answer was shabana azmi and nasiruddin shah and sanjay gupta looked at me and said मतलब क्या मतलब तुम समझते क्या हो मुझे 20 साल हो गए डायरेक्टर के मैंने अभी तक काम नहीं किया इनके साथ तुम्हें पहली पिक्चर में करना है सेड हाँ करना है बट ही वॉज सपोर्टिव इनफ टू टेक मी टू बोथ दोज पीपल एंड आफ्टर आई यू नो ऑनेस्टली वेन आई वॉज डायरेक्टिंग द टू ऑफ दैम आई डिट थिंक दैट आई वॉज डायरेक्टिंग शबाना आजमी एंड नसीरुद्दीन शाह विच शबाना जी विल टेल यू बिकॉज काफ़ी इंटरव्यूज़ में मैं बोलता था कि मैं तो बहुत नर्वस था पहले दिन मेरा ऐसा था एंड शी यूज टू से झूठ बोल रहा है लड़का दूर से बोलते थे झूठ बोल रहा है ये बिल्कुल नर्वस नहीं था इसके पास हमारे सारे सवालों के सारे जवाब थे एंड विच इज़ अ फैक्ट आई डन माई होमवर्क सो वेल दैट वेन यू वर्क यू नो पीपल से कि कितना प्रेशर रहा होगा कोई प्रेशर नहीं था प्रेशर तब होता है जब आप कुछ डफर कलाकारों के साथ काम करें एंड फाइनली यू बैक टू वर्क विद सेवन सेंस हाउ डज दैट फील वेल सेवन सेंस वेरी ग्रेटफुल फर्स्टली वेरी वेरी रिलीव टू come here and start shooting for the seven sense it's an exciting uh, thriller it's got a great ensemble cast it's got lovely actors all kinds of actors and we have a fantastic director captain of the ship in karan when you meet him you will come to know how clear he is of what he wants from his actors and from what his subject is and such a layered subject is very difficult to execute and now he's been given the world he has dubai he has every possible equipment that hollywood has he has the locations he has the actors now it's all in his hands and i feel that he's going to give us a fantastic product very soon so yes very very happy to be here for the seven cents debendu apni journey ki shuruaat ke bare mein hame thoda sa bataiye it's a it's a huge journey because i have been working uh, in the film industry for the last two decades uh, i uh, i came here in bombay uh, in 2000 uh, and my first film was monsoon wedding If you see my filmography, then uh, I started doing acting. Uh, started doing theatre in 1988, and uh, after that, look, I got uh, award uh, state level uh, on theatre acting, and then I joined National School of Drama, and then after National School of Drama, then I joined National School of Drama Repertory Company. Then uh, my first film was when I left Repertory Company. My first film was Monsoon Wedding, and then you know. Uh, you know when when you are a, a, a traveler in 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 your life then you don't look back you know you don't look back but when you think in retrospect you can understand that oh it was a huge journey so i have done lot of significant movies in my life uh, like black friday devdi hazaro khwaish hai aisi hai ab tak chhappan maqbool well a lot of your work is now so popular on all streaming platforms that must feel great right it is all ott 
because uh, because in the pandemic situation in, in in this situation in the coronavirus situation there are social distancing and people are like you no know, people are scared of uh, meeting people so there is no uh, there is no cinema hall there is no theater there is no cine there is no serials because shootings are not there if you go to india if you see that there are people are repeating the shows you know okay uh, so it is everybody is hooked on to uh, 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 OTT platform. That OTT platform is a content-driven industry, and you need you need actors to pull off those contents. So things are things are good. So it's a huge journey actually. And is there any particular role that you wish you had done? Yes, yes. I am actually looking forward. I always tell people that uh, the, my best role is the next role that I'm going to do. Because you know, okay, actors. We are. I, I am an actor, and I don't. I'm not satisfied with like you no know, what I am. Uh, doing whatever because I don't I don't watch my work you know, uh, when I work it is it is there in the public domain you know and, and I I I forget that work uh, so it is uh, it is the next it is the next role I'm looking for. Okay, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for uh, talking to me. Sajad, I'm sure you feel very very fortunate coming this far in your journey. Tell us a little bit about it. Uh, um, when I look back at the journey, it's 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 crazy, but because I'm part of the journey, so I guess I got used to it. So it's we're just uh, being part of it day by day, so it's become normal. But when I look back of it, it's crazy because I was a kid growing up in a Indian community and just loved Bollywood film, but. Uh, I never knew that I want to become an actor. Uh, I wasn't sharing, but I was working so hard for it. I mean, some days, uh, 10 hours, I was just sending emails, uh, profiles, uh, you know, showreels to the production houses, casting director, but at the end it worked. I don't even know how it would have felt being in a film, auditioning in a film that had Salman Khan in it. What, what was it like? Yeah, yeah, it's 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 crazy because uh, beginning to मुझे पता ही नहीं था. I mean, uh, what I'm, I'm auditioning for. When I knew it, it became very crazy because you know, I mean, you're with Salman Bhai. It's one of the biggest uh, movie uh, of Indian history, and then the uh, amazing director and uh, uh, Adiji, you know, and Yash Raj. I mean, it, it was it was all came together, I guess, because seven years of failing, 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 and suddenly all came together to work. And, and I guess it's a patient. It's a game of the being so patient. That's that's why. That's why I call it. Okay, now tell us a little bit about your role in Seven Sense. It's very um, interesting um, crime thriller, as we can put, put it, and uh, I'm playing the the role of uh, uh, bodyguard, so uh, who's just uh, just part of the story, and that you have to watch to know. Super, super. Thank you so much, Sajjad. Thank you, thank you. Time for a really short break, but we are back real soon to get you more on the show. Break beckons the kitchen and the kitchen beckons thus name. We beckon you to watch and learn from her in Swat Se Swagat. Swat Se Swagat helps Sabka in yet another episode of Z Connect. I hope you guys are well, keeping healthy, keeping safe. And to make it even healthier, we're going to do something slightly different from what we've been doing recently. I have been overloading on meat. And that's why I think I've been showing you a lot of meat recipes. So today we're going to focus on vegetarian. We're going to keep it light. We're going to keep it simple. It's a very easy and quick recipe to make, but it also has nutrition packed to the core. Let's get into the recipe now. So I'm going to put my pan on and a little olive oil. Now vegetarian food, you can actually add a little extra oil because there is no fats from the meat itself since there is no meat. So you can compensate with a little extra oil. Get the oil nice and hot, flowing. To this, we will add our garam masala. So, and let all of the oils from the masala release into the olive oil, so you can reap the benefits as well as the flavors. Once the masalas have heated up in the oil, we add the ginger next. So before our ginger starts 
browning or it can brown a little bit uh, before it starts burning really. We're gonna add our tomatoes. This already smells really good and that's what I love about vegetarian food that it has this distinct light aroma to it. Now that you can see our tomatoes have softened up slightly, not very much, we will add our potatoes. Now the reason you want to put your potatoes in first is that they get a little head start on cooking since the other vegetables are going to cook sooner. You need to give potatoes a little extra time. Now when you see the potatoes have browned slightly, that's good. That's when we add our vegetables. So I like having as much vegetable as potatoes. I love the colors that play in my pan when I cook vegetarian food. So I'm gonna let this cook for about five minutes and then I will add the dhania powder. Okay, this has now been cooking for five minutes and it's time to add the dhania powder. Here, I usually kind of eyeball the masala. I'm not exactly sure kitna parta hai, but say about one and a half to two teaspoons of dhania powder. I personally like this recipe being very simple, but you can go in and add other masala as well, like haldi, um, you can add chili powder if you like it spicy. But for me, just the flavor from this mirch is enough for me. Haldi really changes the color, as you already know, so it definitely has its nutrient benefits. But I like seeing the green in this recipe really pop out. So just for this one recipe, I avoid using haldi. And finally, some salt. Remember that aloo mein namak usually zyada padta hai because it's pretty bland. So make sure to just balance the amount of salt you use accordingly. So now what we're gonna do is add a little water so that we make sure that all the vegetables are cooked cook ho jayen, They become one gravy. And um, we just add the water, we let it cook for about 15 to 20 minutes or unless you know that the potatoes have cooked through. So now before our corn starts popping, add some water. Not too much, just enough that you know that it will and the vegetables will cook through. If you like it to be a little more gravy-ish, you can definitely add more water. But I personally like my veggies just soft but not necessarily with gravy. And now we will let this cook for about 15 to 20 minutes or until the vegetables, specifically the potatoes, are thoroughly cooked. So now our vegetable has been cooking for about 15 minutes. And you can see aloo achi tarah gal rahe What I like doing to test if aloo properly gal chuka hai is just give it a little squeeze in the middle. And if it can break with this, it can definitely break in your tongue. So I'm going to put my pan off and I'll plate it. And into my plate, this goes. Smells good. It looks good. It definitely tastes good. I love having my vegetarian with sahi. Cause that's just how vegetarian dishes are meant to be, right? And of course, homemade fresh roti. This is a wholesome meal, delicious, packed with nutrition, well balanced, nothing's missing. So I hope you guys enjoy this, very simple, it only took me 20 minutes from start to finish. I hope you guys give this a try and I will see you next time. On this veggie delight, I will start with heating the pan and adding some olive oil. To that, I will add my garam masalas, julienne ginger, and tomato. I will let this cook until the tomatoes have slightly cooked through, and then I will add the potatoes. Once the potatoes have slightly browned, I will add the mixed vegetables and cook for about 5 minutes. Once the vegetables have come together a little, let's go in and add the coriander powder, and as usual our sea salt. Finally, top it up with a little bit of water, enough to cook the vegetables, and cook for about 15 minutes. Plate it, enjoy it with yogurt 
and homemade rotis. Time for another little break, but we are back with lots more on Z Connect. We've been receiving a lot of requests for more music on the show. So here's presenting you another local artist. Hello everyone. This song is very close to my heart. The song is from ABCD Part 2, sung by one of the most soulful singers which we have right now, Arijit Singh. The song talks about uh, the first love of each and everyone's life, that is mother. And uh, my mother is very close to my heart, so uh, this is very close to me and this is specially dedicated to her and all the mothers out there, written by uh, Mayur Puri and beautifully composed by Sachin Jigar. I hope all the mothers who are watching would really accept my dedication towards you. So here we move on to the next song of mine, that is Teri Mitti, one of the most hummed song for our motherland, for our nation, sung by B. Prak. Music is beautifully done by Arko and written by none other than Manoj Muntashir. This song talks about our soldiers who have given their lives, dedicated their lives to our motherland. And here we are sitting so peacefully and enjoying our lives. So this song completely goes out for all the soldiers who are there right now on the borders fighting for us. Jai Hind! Keep sharing your thoughts and feedback with us on our social media handles below. Keep watching Z Connect. Stay safe, stay healthy. Until next week, this is me, Priya, signing off.